Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 9 of this SL house. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to create this, like the heater for the dining area and the kitchen. And then we added as well in the living room and the family room. Now we're gonna continue working on this by adding on the second floor. So we could go to level two now, zoom out, and let's start in by adding the exterior wall. Go to architecture, click on wall, and look for exterior wall number one. And that's what we're gonna use for our uh, layout here. So now, you want to make sure that your base offset is zero and your top offset is zero as well. I'm not sure why it started to add those, but you just want to make sure that top offset and base offset is zero from those levels. So now let's click on eight one. So let's zoom in A1 up to A3 going down right here up to and then here click on C3 and around 1100 type in sorry go select that again CS select it here at C3 and then around 1100 press enter going to the right side and then going down again and then from here from this grid line this is grid line D you wanna go down again around 700 and then you you can then click here to this grid line and then let's go down at around G and then this is G4 and just to fix this I went over here so align it and then align it from the overlay if your overlay is not turned on you just need to go to your properties and then under underlay I put level 1 and then top is level 2 and then looking down so that's how you use that and then now select that CS again and then here we're going to add <coughs> we can actually we could add a balcony so we're going to select here and then we want to go over here up to G3 and then here I'm just gonna trim and extend here and then CS again and then going to go back here up to here and then closing it off same line similar to what we have on the base or the first floor so we have our layout and at the same time we could add this information as well um, what I'm gonna do is I want to extend this walls right here and then extend this wall right here I could align this one right at the edge so that everything is like that and then at the same time I can turn off the underlay now so go under your properties and then click on none for the base and then at least now you'll be able to see everything correctly we could delete this section we don't need it at the moment I think we finish um, adding those 
stuff already and then we could focus on adding uh, our walls so let's go add interior wall click on interior wall CS and then here we could just add an interior wall right here at the same time we could extend here but still using interior wall here let's add around right here so I'll, bo I'll usually box it off and then after that I put on the number so that it moves along so here I'm just going to put 1365 and then we have our space for enter the room and then we have something for the um, outside here um, this will be the washroom for both rooms right here and then now we'll be able to extend this so select that wall we can CS this and then we could actually connect it from here and then now we could use trim and extend so that we could trim this to extend it all the way there so now we have our entrance for the uh, second and then now what we could do is we could add in another wall right here And then all the way to this line, this is e, E2, and then close it off like that. And then we, we want to make sure that everything is parallel, and then trim and extend that. CS on this, uh, let's close it off, and then add And then here we just need around 1100 let's make it 1200 so that's good enough we have more than enough space and then at the same time what we could do is we could extend this wall now all the way there and then here select this close it right there so now we have we've set up all the necessary um, divisions of walls for our rooms and then we could just work on this now in order for you guys or for us to instantly envision what we're doing what we could do is we could add in a door so select the door here we have 700 by 2000 and then we could instantly add it the door right here use your um, space bar in order to um, change orientation so make sure to change orientation and then uh, put your your cursor either inside or outside in order to move your um, <coughs> to move this out um, for for all of our shower or bathroom I'm going to change this to around 650 and then make sure to move this one like that in order to have more spacing right here but let's use 700 for the openings and then here we have another opening and then 650 for the washroom which is right here and then another one right here so that looks good I'm happy with the location right there and then our layout so next thing we're gonna do is the location of the closet 
and we're gonna create the lock closet basically so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on wall here we're gonna click on interior wall and let's just duplicate this as it, it will be interior anyway and then for the thickness we're gonna set this to 100 press OK and then OK CM oh sorry we don't need CM we just need to select wall and then here we're gonna put the wall right about right around here around 600 is good enough and then for this space I want to put the wall or the the closet wall right here and before we do that we need to set this one to 600 and then AL let's align it from there so that we could just connect it and do that connect that one right there and that's good enough and then here as well uh, we forgot to add an opening wall here so or the door right here so I'm just gonna add the door right about there select this one CS and then we could add right about here 600 as well <coughs> so that's good for the closet and then lastly we're gonna add one more right here select that CS um, let's add it right here around 600 as well and there we go so similar to level 1 what we did here is we have the sliding door you can see as that and then go to level 2 again what we could do is we could add this one for now and then here once we add this we could just drop down and then change this one to depending on the size but I'll make sure to choose the two, 2000 height that's because that's the height that we want uh, we could do two of them if we want to so we could do one here and one on the side so it really depends on what your style is so here we could just do one sliding door here and then another sliding door he here so let's do that on others we might add one big one right here so that's good enough and then here we could add two again maybe two of the 1200 <coughs> and then add right this one and then one big one again and then after adding that uh, doors what we could do is we could add the annotation um, detailed line and then use demolish so that it uh, it's a dash line and that will represent something like the rod add this one right here as well and then right here and then finally right here and you could just move it near to each other again so that it looks nicer now if we check uh, level 1 we already added the sink and the toilet let's add those one so you can actually select that CS go to level 2 again so there's a couple of ways to doing that CS control similar or um, create similar 
and that one is the fastest way um, and then right now what we could do is like that but at the same time if you notice um, we could use the underlay so if you check level 1 here it will see level 1 you'll be able to select anything from level 1 and then if you see as that create similar you'll be able to put it to level 2 just like that so anything you can pull it out here you'll be able to pull it out right here and as you can see you will be able to add this one fairly instantly because of that uh, one thing that I want to change is the size here I believe it's too narrow and I just want to make this one around 1500 so I'm just going to put this one at the 1500 I think that's that's much better to do and in terms of spacing that's fine as well and it's more ju it's just more comfortable to do to add those and then at the same time here this is the masters so I'm planning to do add two of this and then as you can see more than enough space to have the shower and then for now because it's hard to see it we can just turn off the underlay again uh, we already got the sink and the toilets above here so there's nothing more that we could add here from below uh, maybe some chairs later on um, here let's click on the detailed line I always like to add thin lines to represent the top similar to what we did um, below or level 1 let's add it right there okay and then let's just move this one and then another thing that we need to insert now is the shower so let's go back to the main and we want to make sure to go to plumbing architecture fixtures and then we have showers right here it's just a 2d shower that is easy to edit so here cm let's add it right here in the corner right so as you can see we have more than enough space the only problem that we have is we need to check the sizing right here this is 1300 let's uh let's check the other sizes this is 1580 and this it this is the same size anyway right here so let's add this one we could edit we could duplicate this this will be number two and then here we could just it's either or so 1300 here or the 1300 on the other side so we just need so that's perfect I was able to figure out which one so that one is good for that size select that CS and then let's change this wa this size right now so edit edit type duplicate this will be number three and then 1580 press ok and then now it's changed right that and we'll be able to just copy it so just move the spacing and we could just copy that on the corner and then add it right here on the side and then in terms of spacing we could just edit and then move this one a bit like that 
so that's good enough so we're gonna stop here for now and continue on the next video thank you for watching and hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below